Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at 11 Off The Land. I'm very excited for this week's video because we're gonna be making one of my favorite things, uh, and that is salmon lox. So if you haven't heard of salmon lox before, it's basically like a cold smoked salmon without the smoking part added to it. So this is super easy, and with how expensive lox is in the grocery store, this is gonna taste way better, way cheaper, and is not that hard to make. You need to leave it for about two days, but really it's a few minutes of work that we're gonna show you right now. Put it in a bag and forget about it, and then it's ready to use. So you do get that sort of smoked salmon lox uh, texture to it. It's just not as smoky without the smoking process. If you wanted that, you could simply put it in a cold smoker after for a little bit of time, or another thing people will do often is use a smoked sea salt to give it a bit of that smoky flavor. For us, we don't mind, we're just using regular kosher salt. So we have a lovely piece of salmon here that we are going to use, and we're gonna go through the directions, but one little kind of twist uh, we like to kind of play around with and add on is some different flavors in our lox. And one of the ones that we really liked that a chef did at an old restaurant that I worked for uh, was to infuse it with some grapefruit. So with the curing process, the whole goal is to kind of reduce or remove the moisture uh, out of the fish so the bacteria has nothing to grow on or feed on. So the salt is what does that. So we're not going to add any juice in because we don't want more moisture in there. But we are going to use the zest from the grapefruit here and add that in just to give it a bit of a flavor uh, that actually tastes surprisingly good. So we've got our grater here. We're just going to create a bit of a zest on here. So we're just gonna add this into our bowl here. And again, you don't want a lot, you don't need a lot of, uh, or don't wanna add a lot of moisture to it, but just a little bit of extra flavoring um, that you're gonna kinda of be able to rub in there. The next thing you're going to need, um, so this is about a one pound filet of salmon. And so for every pound, you want about a quarter cup of uh, salt. So we've got a quarter cup of sea salt here, or sorry, kosher salt that we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in two tablespoons of brown sugar. And you may think that is a little bit weird, but it's not gonna make it sweet. You're hardly gonna notice it um, once it's all in there. So we're just gonna mix this around. And then all we're going to do is rub this onto the fish. So you do kinda of wanna do a good job of rubbing it in there. We still got the skin uh, on the salmon, so you can leave it on, you can take it off if you want um, and do both sides of it. We prefer to leave, leave the skin on and just kind of slice it off once it's done. So um, try and get the salt in there as best as you can. Rub it right into the fish. Get the ends as well. Okay, we are going to flip it. Do the skin. It's not going to absorb as much through the skin side, but we're still going to get some on there just to dry that skin out as well. Because the more moisture we can get out of here, the better. One of the things you'll really notice uh, when we come back and show you the end result is just how much firmer this is going to get. So you can kind of see there the kind of softness in it. And when we come back uh, in two days, that is going to be nice and firm. Okay, so the last step here is to get this all wrapped in saran wrap. So we're going to get a nice long piece out here. This is a beautiful looking piece of salmon. We're just gonna get a little bit more of it on top there to get that in there. And once we've got this wrapped up, you're gonna to wanna to put it inside a container in your fridge. This is gonna lose some moisture. So if you see liquid coming out of it, that's a good thing. That's kind of what you want. And all you're gonna do is leave this for uh, 48 to 72 hours, two to three days in your fridge. We find that at the three day mark, it's a little too salty. Um, so we kind of pull it out at the two day mark, maybe even just under two days, but you can kind of pull it out and 
have a look and kind of gauge it once you've done this once or twice on your personal preference of how salty you like it. So we're gonna fold that over. We're gonna do it one more time just to seal it in there well. And when you're putting it in the fridge, you do wanna put it skin side down in the fridge. And like I said, in a container, just because you may get some fluid that uh, is gonna leak out of there. Okay, that's gonna go into a container in the fridge and we're gonna come back in two days and show you that final product. But that is how easy it is and how quick it is uh, to turn a piece of salmon into uh, salmon lox, which is delicious. So we'll put it on a bagel when we get back and show you how we eat it. And we'll see you guys in two days. All right, so we are back after 48 hours. And as you can see, we actually did a, a bunch of salmon that we turned into lox here. I don't know how well you can see, but a lot of moisture um, has come out of them um, through there, which is what you want. That securing process is drawing that moisture out. And that's what the salt does. So the next step now is to rinse these off really, really well. You don't want any salt left on there. Um, otherwise, it's just going to get really, really salty. So 48 to 72 hours is what the recommended time frame is for that. Based on how thick your salmon is, ours is fairly thin. So 48 hours is perfect for us. After that, we find it a little bit salty. So we're going to go rinse this off in the sink. And then we'll uh, slice them up and show you what it looks like. So the next step is to pat this dry. We want to get all that moisture uh, off there after rinsing it. And we'll obviously be rinsing off each one of these there. Make sure to get the sides and the back. And love it. You can kind of see that beautiful red color on there. Um, that you get and that's you feel the firmness too. I think we showed you last time we pressed into it That's a much firmer uh, texture on there now, which is great and what you want That means a lot of that moisture has come out of that fish. So let's slice them up and do a taste taste test So again, you want to go really nice and thin if you do big chunks, it will be a little bit salty So just like the locks you would get in the store you want to go nice and thin And kind of get some of these nice thin slices And you see there, you almost get like that translucent color, um, which is what you want, and that nice firmness like we talked about. So, let's give it a go. Mm. Perfect, yeah. I love smoked salmon locks. That's the perfect amount of saltiness. You do get just a little bit of that grapefruit uh, zest. It doesn't stand out a lot, but um, that is delicious. And by the time you cut this so thin, this will last you ages. We do lots and kind of give away to some family and friends. This will last you three to four days in the fridge, or if you vacuum pack it, uh, put it in the fridge, it'll last longer, or you can even freeze it. Freezing it does change the texture a little bit, uh, but the flavor is still there and is just as good. So we hope you find that useful. We hope you try this at home uh, and save yourself money buying that expensive lox. Let us know what, uh, what you think if you do try it out, and help us out and hit like and subscribe below. And we'll see you next week for another video.